Good morning besties and welcome to my very realistic summer morning routine. So I just want to give a shout out to my blackout curtains because my room was super dark literally like 30 seconds ago and then now it's all bright because I took them down so you guys could see me. So basically I have a really slow start to my morning. I actually did not get out of my bed until 6 30 this morning so I took a little bit of time to get out but I like to stretch, wipe the crust out of my eyes because it is very much there and of course we need to hydrate so I have some water and I'm really only going to drink like a quarter of this because anything on my stomach before 10 o'clock it just does not agree with me but I do my best to try and stay hydrated. Now it's said that if you wake up and you make your bed first thing, you're guaranteed to have a more productive morning. That's not always true for me, but I do feel really accomplished. So this is something that I do incorporate or try to incorporate daily. Moving on to some hygiene, I'm gonna start by tying my hair back or just using this cute little headband that I feel like every female has. And then I'm just going to brush my teeth, wash my face. I do very minimal skincare before the gym because I like to come home and do my full skincare after, but I was running low on products. So you probably won't see that today, but all I do is keep it really simple. Wash my face with a gentle cleanser and then follow up with a sunscreen. Moving on to selecting my gym outfit for the day. Usually I pick it out the night before because I don't want any excuse as to why I didn't make it to the gym in the morning, but I just went with these cute biker shorts and this racer back top and a little cropped hoodie. So I ended up changing from my cropped zip up to a cropped hoodie because it kept snagging on my hair and that was kind of annoying. Now I'm going to take my supplements. I take vitamins from the Ray vitamin line and it's the worst part of my morning. If you know, you know your girl really struggles with swallowing pills. So I didn't really show you too much of this because I didn't want you to see me choke on camera. I will say though that I have noticed a huge positive impact on my body since I've been taking these vitamins. So I guess I can suck it up and just choke them down. So this doesn't happen every day, but because I had a hard time waking up this morning, I decided to take some pre-workout. I use the brand C4 pre-workout in the flavor strawberry daiquiri, I believe the flavor is. It's really, really good and really tart. So I'm gonna drink it down really, really quickly. I definitely got brain freeze, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now that we've had all of our supplements and our pre-workout, it is time to head to the gym. So if you guys have never been to Kensington, here is your little tour. It looks kind of cute from here, but don't let it fool you. It's a little rough out here, but listen, by the grace of God, we made it. We've been making it since we lived here. So today we are hitting back and buys and I've heard all of your requests and I will definitely be getting you some workout vlogs pretty soon. Before I work out every day, I try to stretch and focus on mobility because I wasn't doing that and I've noticed a huge difference in my workouts once I do that, but it was very crowded where I was doing my mobility stretches. So stay tuned for some fitness vlogs so you can see what I'm doing there.
so we are back from the gym and it is time to shower because i feel absolutely disgusting lately i've been exfoliating like three times a week i don't know if that's too much but i love these shea scrubs that i get from target so i'm just going to exfoliate because i had to shave today but i didn't show you all that but just just know i shaved anyway i'm just going to shower and then move on to my very favorite part of my day i love moisturizing i love lotion listen we are not walking around crusty okay this is your big sis and she's telling you we don't walk around crusty ashy none of it we don't like it so take that extra time to really pamper yourself this is like my time to really spoil myself because it's like wow I don't really get massages but I can give myself one with some lotion and it's just a great experience so I definitely think that if you're not doing this definitely add this to your routine So this also doesn't happen every day now that I'm on summer break but I am putting on some makeup because I do have some filming for another video that I'm doing today so I'm doing very natural makeup today I'm not even putting on lashes I don't think also we're not gonna talk about how my foundation is like three shades lighter than my face I ran out of my usual foundation and this was the only one that I could find on hand but no worries I bought some new foundation so we will be back to normal but I'm gonna help myself out I won't look like this for long just trust the process croissants stupid name but they taste good this is a tasty burger now that my makeup is I guess done I am now moving on to curling my hair and I'm just touching up my hair because really I don't care this also doesn't happen every day because I just can't commit to this it's very time-consuming but I'm just touching up the top of my hair and that's basically it So this is the first time I'm speaking in this video, but um, so this is the part of my morning routine that I'm going to be super transparent with you does not always happen. I'd like it to, which is why I'm going to incorporate it in this video today. But sometimes I don't get to read my Bible first thing in the morning. Now that I'm on summer break, it just makes sense for me to just do it in the morning because listen, realistically speaking, once like noon hits, anything after noon is fair game in terms of like me going out, me being preoccupied. Like I feel like I'm the most productive before noon so I really am going to be trying to challenge myself to read my bible I'm not even going to do my devotional this morning I'm just going to go right into the word but I wanted to check in with you guys because a lot of you guys always have questions about my faith journey and I promise the video is coming I just I want it to be real and genuine and authentic and I also want to be just really open and honest and then there's this human part of me that feels like I'll be judged when I open that part of my life up like really dissect and delve into it but it just kind of is what it is so I'm really praying about it because I want to be as open and honest with you guys as possible because it all it always looks good it always looks so aesthetic everything just looks so like together let me tell you something your girl does not have her stuff together she might look like she does but I do not. But I'm gonna go ahead and read my Bible right now. I also wanted to mention that I primarily read my Bible and pray in my bedroom because I want it to be in the most intimate, most private room in my house, just so that I could just be like me and God. So whenever I read my Bible, nine times out of 10, I'm in my room. I'm more comfortable here and I just feel like it is my alone time with God. Not that like my house is so big because it's definitely not. I just feel like this is my space to be with God. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some Bible studies and then I will talk to you guys when I'm done. Really, realistically speaking, I'm almost done. I think I just have 
have to like get dressed but i like to just like lounge and just be you know comfortable right now i'm not really feeling breakfast today so i don't think that i'm gonna get into breakfast this morning but i'll talk to you guys when i'm done doing my reading and studying and then we'll see where the morning takes us So I ended up just picking out some comfy clothes and getting dressed off camera because it was very anticlimactic. Now I'm just going to take a moment to sit down with my planner and write out my to-dos for the day as well as for the rest of the week and then that's pretty much going to wrap up my morning before I have to get into some work. Okay, so I just finished making my to-do list for today. I've got quite a bit of stuff, so I need to get working, but that's basically gonna wrap up my morning routine. I try to keep my morning routine really simple because I can't really commit to anything else for real, for real. Now that I'm on summer break, I think it's important that I stick to a routine so I don't get lazy and start to procrastinate and you know, all of that. So I try not to overcomplicate my morning routines. I also kind of just like to take my time and ease into my morning and put no pressure on myself. I just need to make sure that like I'm up by a certain time because once I'm up, my body's gonna be like girl get out of bed so like I don't have to worry about that I was gonna go do some work at a coffee shop this morning but it's about to start thunderstorming mother nature just doesn't know how to let the weather be great so I think I'm going to do work in my house today so that's basically going to be it I'm gonna leave you off here if you guys enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this definitely let me know down below in the comment section also turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video and until next time babes I'll see you in my next